Hey everyone, welcome back to Katamari Damacy. In the last episode, um, I didn't do too good, and I had to replay the level four times to beat it, but it's all done, and we're moving on to Make a Star 8. And the game is done when we hit Make a Star 10 and beat it, so... We're close, we're getting there, we're almost, we're almost done. Yeah, but we, but, uh, we are gonna do the, uh, Constellation levels too, which are... What the... Strabstvich, yeah. Have you ever been to Russia? We were there yesterday. We hope you can visit her, the day's rolling. How many times have I changed his voice in this playthrough? <laughs> Let's go back and check. Uh, no, one, I'm not two. doing that, not doing that. <laughs> I'm not going back and re-watching these to count that. But yeah, we just uh, we just took a little break from recording, went out, got, got a little <laughs> lunch. A little tasty, uh, little tasty burger. Ryan got a chicken sandwich. How was it, Ryan? Can you give me a review? Uh, too much mayo. Too much mayo. That can kill a sandwich. Or a child. How fast could you kill a kid by feeding it only mayo? Like, not giving it any, uh... Morbid question of the day. I don't know, uh, Alexa! <laughs> <laughs> Alexa is... Let's talk about Alexa. Fuck! Alexa is an amazing... Fuck these things, dude! Did you see that? Little rat? Yeah, they're like chasing me and headbunting me. Better pick up those strawberries. Oh, I will, I will pick up those rats once I'm big enough. And I'm losing shit. Alexa is far superior to Siri. Siri sucks. Oh, yeah. Like, we, we, we got one at the uh, Game Grumps <coughs> office, so we've just been messing around. You can be like, Alexa, play Green Day, and it'll play Green Day, or you can and say... And you and I want to, like, get one for our apartment, but Fuck! I'm scared because it's always it's listening. always listening. And it's like an automated home thing, and Amazon is already, like, owning pretty much everyone's soul at this point. Yeah, see, the thing is, it's like, I... I'm all for, like, internet privacy and stuff, and, and knowing that there's always... A major corporation's piece of technology in my home listening to everything I say is, uh, like, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I don't know. It just gets a little off-putting knowing, like, oh, yeah, it could probably be listening to my conversations. And especially because of how smart it is, like, all the wide range of questions it can answer, how smart that little piece of technology is. Uh, I'm just shocked, well, the like, people who made it are smart. I don't think yeah. Alexa is smart. Right, right. But the people who made it are... And they could be listening to conversations for advertising purposes. Or just collecting data. And maybe Amazon has got a file on me, and they've maybe got a file on Ryan, and they know what kind of stuff we like. Like they know that you like, for example, uh, bottled water opposed to filtered water, because you're a little bitch boy. I'm not a little bitch boy, I only like it in Los Angeles. When I'm anywhere else in the country, I'll drink tap water, but LA is just... It's too gross, dude. <laughs> too gross. It is. You like, I. You've started drinking filter water, but but you can even agree that LA tap water is by far not good. I would suggest filtering that water right away. Well, when I filter it, I can still taste the chlorine and shit. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that that's. I don't like that stuff though. It just like, <coughs> LA water. I, I think I've talked about this before. It just has like a dull metallic feel where it doesn't feel like crisp and clean like water should, and it's just like, ugh, I hate it. Real gross. Can we? Ha I want to like your review on every brand of water. Every like brand wa of like bottled like, water. There's gotta be like water re bottle review channel. There are reviews that, like review channels that probably do that shit. Okay, let, we should say like we boxed water, which was not good. Would you let me do a review on Super Mega where I review different waters? And, or and then you give me a blind taste. Or test. I'll mix up a bunch of different waters, ones that are filtered and not filtered type of thing, and then you try to actually tell the difference. And see if it's a bias you have. No, LA water really does taste like taste shit. It. LA water really does taste like shit. Well, then we're, we're gonna see when I blindfold you and give you water samples. There is there is another water bottle that tastes like LA though. I've noticed. I don't remember which one it is though. But there is one other water that oh, does taste like LA. Leaving yourself a little card there so you can jump. Ryan, out of you it used to be on the possible. same page and only drink bottled water with me. Cause it was cause it was easier. Yeah, I but, have to but can you agree that jump? LA water doesn't taste good? It doesn't taste bad. It just, it just, it Ryan, doesn't. You used to say the exact opposite. You used to say it tasted all nasty. People's opinions change, Matt. How did your opinion change on it? How did my opinion change? Because I just didn't mind it as much. It's kind of like maybe you just got used to it. It's kind of like how earlier in life I didn't like candy corn, and now I do. I maybe just, I well, just changed my opinion. You know, you have been living in LA longer than me. Maybe you've just gotten used to it at this point, and I just, I just haven't. Yeah. Also, I do go home. Uh, I go to the other parts of the country more than you, where I drink. Uh, different water uh more 
which means that maybe, because um, you're here a lot, so you've gotten so used to drinking that. Maybe because I keep going home and I keep tasting South Carolina water and shit. And South I get Carolina used to it water again. is fucking good. Right. That's so something like, we will always like. I will always stand behind <sighs> and say I don't think anything. Dude, will Columbia, be Columbia, water. Columbia has great water. It's it's so like I just. I, I just drink it right out of the faucet. So good. My my girlfriend uses a filter, and I'll just drink it out of the tap. But may, maybe because you don't you don't leave LA that often. I do. So yeah. maybe I just drink outside water more. So my tolerance and and getting used to it is much slower than yours. Because because you're here with it more. So maybe you're just used to it now. Yeah, but. and then also just buying bottled waters instead of just refilling water from. Yeah, the tap. it is more expensive for sure. Definitely more. But expensive. I do like having water bottles because just a little. It's and, in a cup already. Yeah, and also a bottle. I, I like it in a water bottle because my cat's an asshole, and no matter if I if I get a cup of because I need water I'll like by my bed when I when I go to sleep because I wake up thirsty and when I first wake up I like to drink Sorry, a bunch of water. What the fuck? Is that a drawing? Where that you picked up? Yeah, I picked up some chalk. You drawings. picked up a truck? A truck? A truck? A truck? Um, like when I uh wake up, I like to drink water because it helps me wake up faster. Um. Cause you're like, you get dehydrated while you sleep or something. So, my cat, if I have a cup, no matter where I put it, I'll wake up and it'll be knocked over and there'll be water everywhere. And for, like last night, I woke up at 5 a.m. as he was knocking my cup of water off the side of my bed, behind my bed, which I then had to get up and clean up water behind my bed, which I also had a bunch of papers and stuff, this which all got, night? this was at is 5 a.m. Is this when, oh, is this when you like opened the door and slammed it behind him and put him out in the living room for yes, the rest I of the did. night? Because there's nothing because out there for him to knock over, so I, I, because he wouldn't stop, uh, he started like trying to knock other shit over, and he, so I like, I, I moved him, um, to somewhere else in my room, and he started like fucking with shit again, so I was like, banana, I need to get some fucking sleep, you're being an asshole, I'm throwing you out in the living room where you can't knock anything over. Like, I don't know what to do in the middle of the night when he's being an asshole. It's like, I can't, if I put him in my closet, he'll just <laughs> meow. Yeah, so if I put him in the living room, usually he'll like fall asleep within like 10 minutes, he'll just relax. <laughs> But that's why we gotta make sure there's nothing for him to knock over out in the kitchen. So when there, I throw his ass out, he won't make no mess. There's currently nothing out because I cleaned our whole fucking apartment. And you did. I was out of nice town and, and I got home and I was clean. like, whoa! I got a steamer thing to kind of scrub some shit off the floor. And yeah, you, you've been taking shits on the floor a lot. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't mean to. It's alright, dude. No worries. You know, you know, I know I love you. It's fine. Oh yeah, there we go. I haven't even really been like focusing on the game that much. I've That's, been kind of well. You lost last time that happened, Matt. No, but but look at me go. See, 47 centimeters, 12 minutes left. Out of 12 meters. Fuck. All right. Well, I I I'm I'm faithful. I think I can do it. Are you faithful? You know, Ryan, it's all about confidence. If you exude confidence, then then you can, you 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 might be able to get things done more. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? If if I'm confident myself. Instead of thinking I'm gonna fail, maybe- oh, I got a pigeon. Maybe I'll, uh... That's uh, actually a legitimate thing. Like, there's been, like, studies and shit where it's yeah. like, if you victimize yourself, you're going to have a harder time being successful. Or if you, like, if you go into a test already thinking you're gonna fail. Yeah. If you go into a test confident, or if you go into, like, a job interview confident, anything confident, then, uh, they've done tests that show that you're more likely to do better. So, I'm trying to be confident. See these water bottles on the steps? You know why they do that? They put them there in Japan. They put water bottles on steps do they really? to keep cats from peeing on the stairs. What is that? Because wow. if the water bottle's there, the cat can't pee there. Why can't it pee there? Because there's a water bottle there. But, can it just pee it next to it on the steps? I don't- I guess they don't want to. But why is that only a thing in Japan? The only Japanese cats piss on steps? Will you- will you be Fuck. able to send me a picture of, like, water bottles water on steps? Yeah. Yes, I Is I it will. that common, you think? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, I need to poop. Oh shit. Oh god! <sighs> I didn't lose anything. You don't have one meter. Yeah, but this is the area where I can start growing exponentially. Look at all that shit. Go pick up all that shit over there. I'm gonna line <sighs> for you. Just a bunch of- you're missing Uzura Kawa! Two. What are you doing? Sorry, I was reading the Japanese in the background. It god says Uzura it, River. Man. What the fuck? Come here, plate! Doesn't want, doesn't want. That was a straw hat, not a plate. Ooh, Would yeah. you ever consider seriously wearing a straw hat, Ryan? No. Why? I Why? think it would look very good on you. <laughs> straw. <laughs> I'm gonna start just like being an asshole and trying to like really act like, uh, like Ryan, I think you'd look really good in this. And like start, really get your confidence up with all this stuff and tell you like, dude, I think you look amazing in this stuff. So you're like, wow, 
this feels so good to have someone like, you know, telling me I look good and this or that, like, I feel good. And I start getting you to wear all these ridiculous things and everyone Do I just seem like the kind of person who would care whether <laughs> something looks good on me or not? No, not at I all. So flip flops, gym shorts, and black t-shirts almost on a daily basis. That's true. I need someone more vulnerable. <laughs> Who's vulnerable and stuff? Vernon! Vernon! Let's do it to Vernon. Let's get him in here. Let's get Vernon to- we should start convincing Vernon that it, it looks really good if he wore like a trilby or something. <laughs> Which, as everyone knows, is a fedora, but fedoras are not. I'm not. No, I'm wait, not getting wait, into this get shit. Get Vernon to start wearing like a wave cap, <laughs> or what's that little? Uh, it's like a little newsboy hat. You know those? <laughs> I'm still not even a fucking meter. Are you kidding me? This level's hard. Ryan, how much do you guess I'm gonna have to do this level again? You're gonna have to do it again so many fucking times. No, confidence. I'm confident that- Oh, okay, I'm a meter. Okay, now just- you, you said it's exponential, so, uh... I have nine minutes to grow 12 meters. It all depends on the level and, uh, my skills. Once you start getting big and rolling up people, you'll be good. Yeah, I'm rolling over Chinese bowls. You still have nine minutes, you're good. Roll up all that shit. See, look at all this. Rolling all this up. Oh, okay. Ooh, hey! Shit! Dude! Where's his mom? It's fucking oh. gross, but I love it. You got I me in that habit. All over myself. You got me in that habit because you introduced me to the whole thing where when you burp, you make it sound like you're vomiting and like jump forward. Yeah, so you it, make it more. You make it more guttural. You make yeah. You make it more dramatic than it really is, and it makes <laughs> people jump. You, I I do that almost every time I burp now. Like not a single time I do I just even when I'm by myself. It's just funny. It makes me laugh. It's great. Yeah, it's gross. it's like um. I can't even see what's going on. I wish you could do that with farts. I wish you could kind of change the sound of your farts. To I wish I could purposely make a... <laughs> that was pretty good. To make it sound like you're shitting yourself? Yeah. Alright, so that's where I gotta- Oh my god! Where is it? It's somewhere back here. Turn. Turn. Look out, people. Can't. Okay, I can't get them it? yet. Huh? It's over here. I'm praying to god it's over here, and I'm going Dear the right god. way. Dear god. Oh, you can pick up that Yeah, I can, I can pick him up. Picking up the kids! Alrighty, let's Ooh, see. Yeah! Alrighty, yeah! You're almost a two! Alright, um... You might- you might get it, Matt. I'm I very- might. I'm confident in- in- in your abilities here. Thank you, Ryan. That really means a lot. See, and when you have a friend that's confident in you, you're probably double confident. You're more likely to- to do better because it's like, hey, I have someone here supporting me. Making me feel even more confident. Come here, skateboard mitt fuck. Oh, All right. No. He was a skater boy, and he said, see you later, boy. I wasn't big enough for him. Oh, oh. Okay, can I get these guys? Fuck me, no, dude. They're stupid fans. Dude, I am in a bad place. I am too small for this area. Okay, I got that. Okay, can I roll down here? Would that take me out of work? Okay, I'm oh, going up here. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, damn. That's a taiko drum. Oh, did oh. You just, did you roll him up, or? I don't know. I killed him. He's dead regardless. Where am I? I have no idea. Where am I? Little Tokyo? No, this is too Japanese. This is like a Japanese alleyway. Come here, little girl. I got Toko Yamada. She had a name. That's weird. She like, other, an, other people didn't have names. Name. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get these. Okay. Get that stuff. Alright, six minutes left. As long as I can, like, get somewhere... Uh, cool. Hold on, I just thought of a debate. What? Not like a debate, but like something that I, I we think We can argue about. about? Not argue, but something I've thought about. After, like... After taking a big shit, because I took a huge one yesterday, and it hurt a lot, like, after I was done. Like, I could feel yeah. my asshole, like, it was really fucking wide. Uh-huh. Like, it, it... It's... Yeah. Very, very thick cylindrical poop. Yes. And it came out of my butthole, and I'm thinking... Wow, this hurts so much, and it's this kind of pulsing pain after I poop because it was such a big poop. Okay. Really? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, do you think? Do you think that? Uh huh. <laughs> do you think that's the feeling after like a gay person has sex, has like butt sex, or like a girl after she has butt sex done to her? Do you think that's kind of similar, a similar feeling? Because it's a cylindrical object that's widening their butthole. Then afterwards, it probably hurts and has a pulsating like ah. Ooh. Ryan. What- uh, my question is- You are asking the tough hitting questions here. Would- would- Post anal sex I would feel imagine, like a post giant poop? I would imagine so. Because it's the- You know, it's- it's- I don't know. It's an object- look, a lot of- if you're- if you're pooping a big poop, that log yeah, is- Yes. Cylindrical like a penis. Right. It's like a big thick penis. Right. 
Right. A big, thick, brown penis. Yes. Coming out of your butt. All right. I, so it's gotta feel... I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes. You know... Come I, on. I'm just gonna say yes. Do you actually believe it, or are you just yeah, saying sure. it? Yeah, sure. You don't... I don't know. Sure, yeah. Okay, yes. Probably yes. Is there a gay person we could ask? I don't know. Uh, let's... Is there, like, a hotline where you can ask gay men questions? I don't know. You can just ask anyone that's had anal sex. I'm gonna look it up on Google. Oh, I am stuck. I am stuck big time. Ryan, I'm actually really... Okay, I got out. I got out. You got four minutes to... God, you're not doing this. There's no Who knows? Way. You're not even halfway there. You're living on a... No, don't make the Bon Jovi reference. <laughs> I, I, I just, I gotta get back to that area where I was. Does anal sex Jesus Christ. feel like when you poop? Oh my god, Ryan. You know, there's just some questions that have plagued mankind since the beginning of uh, human history, and that's one of them. Okay, here we go. I'm on r slash sl sex. Ready? Uh-huh. Wow, my very ready. 21... Uh, sorry. I'm a 21-year-old female, my boyfriend is 22. My boyfriend is really into anal play and anal intercourse. We've tried it multiple times, but yep. I can't seem to get past the feeling of it. We use a lot of lube and work our way up to it, and his entering is not the problem. But when he thrusts out, it feels oh, like God. I'm pooping and immediately turns me off. Ryan. Does anyone have a suggestion to prevent this feeling, or at least help me get over my distaste for it? Ryan, please. Ryan, please. What? What? Please. What? I don't care. Try I don't... masturbating a bit beforehand. No, I Ryan, found that why? The feeling goes away when I am. You've more made half of this episode about how anal sex by feels. Being aroused. I'm curious if it feels similar to like. Why are you so curious? Because I'm never gonna know what anal sex truly feels like. Re probably. <laughs> Probably, maybe, I don't know. I, I could fuck a dude. I, I got, I could be fucked by a dude at some point. I got a lot of years <laughs> left to be taken advantage of or something. Like willingly or, or like you choose to have this happen or it just happens? I don't know, maybe one day it's like, sure, I'll The year is 2060, everyone's gay. <laughs> yeah. The, the water's turning the frogs gay, so why not? Yeah, alright. I, I hear you on that one. I mean, Alex Jones said it. Alex Jones did say that. Putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! Ugh, ugh, serious crap! You think I can do it? Not everyone enjoys the feeling. If it turns- Oh my- turn Ryan! Off, no, enough! To your enough about anal sex and poop! Sorry. It's okay. Can I pick this thing up? Can I pick this thing up? What thing? Yes! Yes! No! That was a big waste of fucking time. Ryan, I might do this. If I can roll these up, can't roll them up. I'm fucked. I'm fucked in the ass, dude. Ryan, I don't want to see- I don't want to see that picture! Look at that! I see it! What- What is that even? Is it's, that- It's some dude fucking a girl in the ass. Ryan. Her pussy's gaping as well. Ryan, please! And then sunglasses come down and it says deal you, with it. You have soiled this episode for me. Why? You have- you have- you have packed this episode with sodomy? And- and- and vulgarity. have against sodomy? And poo-poo? <laughs> poo-poo? I just wanted to enjoy this level, have a nice time, you know... Well, you're not gonna enjoy the level because you're gonna lose! Am I, Ryan? Look at my size. Watch it. Look at my size, Ryan. I'm looking. I don't see 12, I see 10. If I lose it this close, I'm gonna be real upset. Are you gonna throw the controller on the ground and cry? Wee! No. Wee! What, what if, like, people didn't know that about me, but after most recording sessions, I throw the controller oh, on the ground? You're almost at 12! Oh, shit! Come on, Matt! No way! Yes! All right, this episode wasn't all that bad. We got to learn a little bit about the feeling of anal sex and how it compares to taking a shit, and, uh... And, uh, we, we, we beat the level, and my Katamari's as big as 5,744 5, kerosene stoves. I'd say, uh, I'd say this has been a, a successful episode, alright? But you still got 20 seconds to be big! Oh, can I roll these buildings you up? You started off so Oh, small. I'm getting buildings! What?! Oh, shit, dude! Wow, that's awesome. Whoa! Oh, you're already at 15 meters! Is this considered a terrorist attack? At this point, could it's you consider this a... It's definitely not domestic terrorism. Well, uh, it, it I would think be cosmic Japan. terrorism. <laughs> cosmic terrorism. <laughs> yeah. Cosmic terrorists. All right. Guys, 
You know, Hillary might be afraid to say it, Obama might be afraid to say it, but I'm not. I'll call it by what it really is. Radical cosmic terrorism. 15 meters, 99 centimeters, 6 millimeters. Wow, I didn't think I was going to make 12 and I got almost 16. Damn it, I was less than a centimeter away from being 16. It was the first goal, but it's not very exciting, is it? Next time we want a much bigger one. What? Uh, plants, food, and Japanese food. My, Earth really is full of things. We will now release it into the sky. Uh-oh. Bye-bye. Wow, Bye -bye. look at all those houses. Goodbye. Someone's gonna have to pay for that. Smell you later. Oxygen star. That's a big, pretty star. I like that star. Ooh, cutscene. <gasps> oh, shit. No! <laughs> Space Center. <laughs> Hello. Titanium. Like what's on the space shuttle. What is that parachuting down in the background? Where can he be? What is that? I don't is know. It, is that the nose of the cosmic king? I have no idea. But they don't know where their daddy is. Uh, he's supposed to take off in a spaceship soon. Uh, and meanwhile, we're rolling shit up. So, guys, that is... Uh, we just beat Make a Star 8, which means... Uh, what else do we have to do? We have to do Make a Star 9, and then the last one we gotta do is Make a Star 10, which I don't- we haven't unlocked that yet, but- which we'll probably unlock after 9. Yeah, We also but, have little other constellations yeah. to do. So, in the next episode, we're gonna make a few constellations, and then after that, Make a Star 9, and then finish up whatever constellations and shit You're we have left. You're spoiling it! Okay, sorry! I will- okay, God bye!